Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Minister of Finance and National Economy and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Mumtalikat Holding Company Mumtalikat, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa at Gdaybiya Palace. The meeting took place uh, following His Royal Highness the Deputy King's directives to appoint uh, Khalid Amr al Rumehi to the Mumtalikat Board of Directors and Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as Chief Executive Officer of Mumtalikat. His Royal Highness highlighted Mumtalikat's wide-ranging partnerships and its successes in promoting the kingdom's economic growth and creating quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's strategic economic and investment partnerships highlighting their increased strength over the years thanks to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's leadership. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to Khalid Amr al Ramehi on his appointment, commended his efforts during his tenure as CEO of Mumtalikat, and wished Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa success in his duties as the newly appointed CEO. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to develop Mumtalikat's investment strategy in line with the global economic and political trends, noting that comprehensive strategies and plans ensure that challenges are transformed into quality opportunities as witnessed by the kingdom's successes over the years. He highlighted the a broad range of local investment opportunities and development projects that are available in the kingdom with continue to benefit local investment and private companies. His Royal Highness wished Mumtalika chairman and employees success in achieving their future goals. For his part, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa highlighted Mumtalika's commitment to supporting the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness. He noted that Mumtalika will continue to implement His Royal Highness's directives, which include strengthening sustainable development and investment opportunities that aim to meet the kingdom's far-reaching economic goals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the outgoing ambassador of Korea to Bahrain, Hei Kwan Chung, at Gdaybiya Palace to mark the end of the ambassador's service in the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain South Korea relations and the importance of furthering cooperation and coordination to benefit both countries and achieve common goals. His Royal Highness the Deputy King commended the ambassador's efforts in strengthening bilateral cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and South Korea across all sectors. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes to the ambassador in his future endeavors. For his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted his commitment to advancing bilateral relations. He wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki also attended the meeting. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the UK Embassy celebration on the occasion of the coronation of His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and head of the Commonwealth. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was received by UK Ambassador to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond, a number of ministers, senior officials, ambassadors and embassy staff. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion, wishing abundant health and happiness to King Charles and success to continue leading the UK towards further progress and prosperity and to enhance its prestigious and pioneering role in the world and for the people of the UK further progress and prosperity. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain-UK relations are solid and well-established, extended for over 200 years of strategy, partnership, coordination, cooperation and joint action at various levels in a way that serves the interests of the two countries and achieves the aspirations of the two friendly people. He also affirmed that Bahrain, under the directives of His Majesty, also always seek to strengthen relations in various fields. The Bahraini and British royal anthems were played during the ceremony. Then the UK ambassador delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and gratitude for the patronage of His Majesty the King of the 
celebration and appreciation for the attendance of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah. He praised the existing relations between the UK and Bahrain and the development and growth of these relations through meetings between all governmental, economic and commercial sectors and in various fields. The Council of Representatives held its weekly uh, session chaired by its speaker Ahmed Limsellam. The Council approved a draft law cancelling Article 353 of the Penalties Law. A proposal amending Article 9 of Law 58 of 2009 on seniors' rights was also approved. The Cabinet approved a proposal amending a number of provisions of Law 57 of 2006 on the Labour Fund. The Council also approved a request to extend the deadline for submitting the report approving the 2023-2024 to State General Budget for four weeks. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture Engineer Wa'il Limbarak and the Minister of Education Dr. Mohamed Jum'a launched a joint campaign between the two ministries under the name Afforestation, an awareness project in the field of public hygiene, to plant trees in public and private schools and raise awareness on public hygiene in schools. The inauguration ceremony was held at the El Malkia Primary Intermediate Girls School in the presence of the two ministers, a number of officials as well as heads of municipal councils. This initiative aims to plant trees in schools by students and teachers to educate the future generations on the importance of afforestation, in addition to involving students in afforestation projects in Bahrain. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khlaif, met with the Japanese Minister of Digital Affairs, Taro Kono. Al Khlaif emphasized Bahrain's commitment to boost Bahraini Japanese ties in all sectors, especially in sustainable development. The meeting discussed the effective use of digital technology in achieving sustainable development goals and stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation between the two countries in this field. They reviewed ways to adopt modern technologies to support sustainable development goals in Bahrain. The minister also met with the governor of Tokyo, Yuriko Koiki, and was briefed on the Japanese capital's plans to achieve sustainability, downsizing energy consumption, integrating sustainable development goals into future plans, and launching the Smart Sustainable Cities Conference. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhro, met with Japan's External Trade Authority Chairman, Narhiko Ishoguro, on the sidelines of the official visit of the Bahraini Economic Delegation to Tokyo. The meeting discussed topics of common interest. The Commerce Minister affirmed Bahrain's interest in developing economic relations with Japan by activating the private sector's role in both countries. Fakhro reviewed bilateral relations and ways to enhance cooperation, especially in industrial, commercial and investment fields. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhro, met Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Chairman, Ken Kobayashi. The meeting discussed topics of common interest, cooperation and joint work between the private sectors in both countries. They highlighted ways to benefit from the strong economic relations to achieve common goals. The minister stressed the Bahraini-Japanese relations, especially in the economic sector. Fakhro highlighted the exchange of experiences and expertise through mutual visits that supports a clear and joint approach in achieving developments. 
Under the patronage of His Highness Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, a delegation from the Bahrain Chamber participated in the Entrepreneurs Investment Summit. The delegation was headed by the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber, Samir Abdullah Nas, who noted the importance of this summit that represents an opportunity to reaffirm the full commitment to support all efforts to enhance entrepreneurship and the investment environment. Nas also stressed the importance of strengthening trade ties between entrepreneurs and small companies, in addition to setting practical steps that contribute in eliminating challenges and threats, taking advantage of opportunities that open the way towards progress and achieving economic integration, as well as providing a platform for entrepreneurs and small and medium-sized companies to meet, with the aim of developing joint investments, cooperation and facilitating trade. The cabinet approved of the attendance policy for employees by adopting flexible working hours across ministries and government agencies, which will provide employees with a three-hour window to begin their workday is an important step toward developing the quality of government service. This decision is in line with the directives and aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to optimize government services and ensure they are provided quickly and effectively. He noted the role of this step in achieving Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and achieving the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty the King. The head of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed Zayed, stressed that the decision will help improve productivity and create a comfortable and suitable work environment for the employees. He pointed out that the Bureau will uh, promptly take the necessary measures to enforce the decision and ensure discipline in attendance and departure to perform job duties and to the fullest and uh, serve the nation and citizens. The Kingdom of Bahrain will host the 5th Istanbul Cooperation Initiative Policy Advisory Group meeting of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO on May 10th and the 11th. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed Bahrain's welcome to the participating delegations at this meeting, which is organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with NATO, which comes within the framework of their common desire to enhance cooperation and coordination regarding regional and international political and security challenges. The meeting will feature several sessions on the current regional political security scene, prospects for cooperation and partnership, and breakout sessions on the regional approach to security and defense, issues of maritime security, energy security and climate change, cyber security, combating terrorism, and the role of women in achieving security and peace, in addition to a seminar presented by the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, and other diplomatic consultations and intellectual and cultural events.